What's going on YouTube? Everything Epan here and this is my video tutorial on how to install Windows NT 4.0 in VirtualBox. Um, I had this requested. Um, don't remember the user so uh, you can call me out for that if you want, whoever you know who you are. But uh, this was a requested video somebody in the comments of one of my videos had me uh, wanted me to do. So I'm going to do that for him so let's get right into it. So, as I say in all my videos, I'm going to keep saying it every time, though. You need to get VirtualBox. Um, they have a 5.0 version out, um, as you see. So, there's a new version. You can get the extension pack if you want. And then, if you don't have the ISO of Windows NT 4.0, that's in the description. You don't need a product key. It is password protected. Uh, I've said that in all my videos, but you can get the password in the description. It's not fake. I've said it. I could. I mean, I would love to show you proof, but I have a feeling I could give the password away, and it would be, um, it'd be pretty much pointless because that's the way you really have to do it. But um, this is just for entertainment pur purposes only, you know. Just, I mean, if you really want to try this at your own risk, you can. Um, but let's go ahead and begin the uh, actual tutorial here. So you need to hit new as normal if any of you watched my other videos. Name it whatever you want. I'll make that a capital just so it looks nice. Um, it should automatically move it to NT4. Hit next. You can give it as much RAM as you want. We'll give it a gig. We'll overkill it. Next. Create a virtual hard drive. Next. Next. And this can be any amount of space. And hit create. I'm going to move that here so it's pretty much in order by when they were released. You hit settings, storage, and then this empty disk. Hit the disk here. Choose to find your actual thing itself. Mine's saved all the way in here. Hit OK. And then don't you don't even have to hit the arrow where all we're doing is a normal start so really all you have to do is just hit that start button don't even have to hit the arrow and normal start as you see the logo's different but um, if you ever get this error just ignore it and then sometimes maybe you have to power off and then do it again Sometimes that happens the first time, maybe the first couple times. But now as you see it works. So, I mean, if any of you guys get that error, just do that. That's all you really have to do. And then you get this screen, the blue screen. Not the blue screen of death, but just the plain blue screen. So as you see, it says it's NT version 4.0. 1 gigabyte of memory, 1024 megabytes. And now we're in the setup, so hit enter to continue, and then hit enter again, and then hit C to continue setup. There's a lot of things going on here. Uh, I have to hit the page down button a couple times. Looks like, yep, you have to just keep putting it till you get this, then hit F8, and then hit enter, hit enter again, then format using the NTFS file system. That should not take very long. Hit enter again. Enter. It's going to check your disk. Mine's only 2 gigs, so it shouldn't take long. And then copying files, depending on your speed of your computer, shouldn't take long. Then we're now going to restart. And if it does this again, sometimes you have to just take that out and reset the machine and then just hit oh I guess it did it for you but you hit enter I guess too as you see it's with service pack 1 I just noticed that to be honest <coughs> so you'll end up getting this blue screen again and then it's going to do another reboot and it'll do it automatically for you it'll come up with the blue screen once again it'll do this possibly a couple times
and then we'll get to this interface where we'll continue setup and then you will need to actually um, put the disk back in hit OK and then next next this is just the typical installation um, You can do that if you want. You do have to type a name, though. A computer name will do... NT 4.0. I don't think you can have dots. Oh, yes, you can. I'm going to skip that. I'm not going to make an emergency repair disk. Um, install the most common components. Installing networking. Um, I am wired. I guess you can search for this if you want, and mine's already detected, so just hit next, next again, next. Um, continue. And then do yes. To do DC, DHCP. Hit next. Um, hit yes on this. Maybe I have to do the... Yep, you can't have a dot in your name, so... This part shouldn't take too long. Nope, it's already done. Um, you can edit this if you need to. Hit Next and Finish. So really, that's all it is. It's really that simple. I mean, sometimes some people are just here just to get the ISO, but that's okay, too. I'm fine with that. I'm in the central time zone, if any of you did not know that. Kind of gives away my location. Um, you can't... You can bump it up a little bit. Hit OK. But you can't. Sometimes it doesn't work. So just hit OK and leave it like this. And it's going to go by very quickly. This would have taken a lot longer back in the day when this was release and it has been installed successfully so now you need to remove um, the setup disk installation disk from the virtual machine and restart you get that screen then hit enter just let it load it does this every time it starts up. It gives you that little blue screen with the information up at the top. That's normal. If any of you were just wondering. I've seen this screen before. And do not actually press Control Delete because if you do that, that'll get you to that screen if you can see it. I doubt you probably can, but it gets you to the screen. It either takes you to, yeah, it takes you pretty much to the screen where it says, like, Task Manager, Lock, Sign Out, and all that crap. That's on Windows 8, though, but if you're on Windows 7, you can change your password there, too. But we need to enter in a Control-Alt-Delete. There we go. And then there should be no password, so you just OK. And you are in. You are automatically in. Internet, I'm not quite sure. I don't know if that works. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Just depends. Okay, so the internet does work. So if I go to, does YouTube work? I'm sure it'll say, like, your browser's unsupported or something like that. Yeah, see, it's not even let me go anywhere. Let me go to Google. I guess that counts. Yep, see, all it's really doing is Google. Let's do, can we do Microsoft? Or, what is Microsoft's website? Let's just search Microsoft. Oh, that's right, you don't have built-in search. So let's do... There's a speed test website. Actually, I shouldn't do that. Mm. I don't know. Google works. I don't really know what else I can type in, but Internet works on this right out of the box for me. Sometimes it will not for you. Like, obviously, if you don't have an Internet connection while you're doing the installation, it's not going to work, but... That is my quick video tutorial on how to install Windows NT 4.0 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more uh, tutorials, and I will see you guys in the next video.